right. I didn't do a video last night because uh, it was uh, miserable. I mean, absolutely miserable. Um, I actually did go in because I can't. I just can't leave Cooper hanging. It wouldn't be fair to him. And I was hoping that you know maybe they could find me somewhere where I didn't have to run around. So I went and uh, they put me in the 3D maze, and uh, so I went and got my little chair because my knee was killing me, and like if I step on it wrong, it twangs. It's the same problem as last year, but with a different knee. Yay. So, um, they confiscated my chair. They came in and took my chair away. So, I, on a bad knee, had to stand up from 6 o'clock in the afternoon to midnight. And now my knee hurts so bad, I can't even go up the stairs. I mean, I'm, I'm hopefully it'll be better by Thursday. Um, so I got to go to the 3D maze. They put me in the blackout costume. It's like the you know big black things. Pretty much like what I did last year. Um, there was the the spark room, and then there was the black hallway, and then there was me in the black hallway. And um, I actually scared quite a few people. And this one girl punched me in the throat. She didn't mean to. She was really really scared. She, but she's she's you know some people have that uh, instinct that when something sneaks up on them and scares them. Eh! So she, but she missed and she got me like right here on the, uh, the clavicles and so, <laughs> yeah, and then this other little bastard starts shoving me and I tripped and I, uh, he fell into the wall hard, hard, so, yeah. I did make one person fall down, which was, like, well, that was fun. Um, and then they had uh, the people from the other haunts come through, and I scared Adam the zombie so bad. He's all doubled over going, oh my god, oh my god, it was, uh, that was great. Uh, but my, oh my god, I was surprised I could do it, because, I mean, halfway through the night, like, and, and I was, I was wearing, um, different sneakers, too, because my sneakers were still wet from the night before. So I had my little black shoes on that I hadn't worn in five years that I, you know, had for emergencies just like this. And uh, I had worn them at the Hallmark store when I was working there, which was a really bad job. Um, so I'm standing there, and then it's like the pain radiates up through from the feet, goes up to the knees, which are already hurting. And then it just keeps creeping up and up and up and up and up to the hips. And then it really, oh my god, it makes you feel like you have to pee. It hurts so bad. And I just, you know, shifting from foot to foot makes it worse because the, you know, pressure on my knees. And leaning against the wall didn't help much either. But I did it. I did it. And, uh, but I was, I was really upset that they, they actually came and took my chair away. It was perfectly hidden. And, uh, nobody could see it. It was pitch black in that hallway. And then um, apparently somebody's reasoning was, well, if your knee's that bad, you should clock out and go home. There were 25 people missing from the trail. I don't know how many people were missing from the other haunts, but they were so severely understaffed that, that last, no, not last night, um, Saturday night, when it was raining so hard, they had all the haunt managers in makeup working in their haunts. And I'm thinking, do you really want me to clock out and go home when I'm willing to work? Seriously? I don't know what this is. <sighs> but I'm getting money, so why, why should I complain? A couple of people actually walked into me because they they can't see anything because it's literally pitch black in that hallway and they didn't know which way to go and a couple of people would walk right into me and I'd you know, lean forward and start screaming, WRONG WAY! And this one guy is like, where, uh, WHERE DO I GO? WHERE DO I GO? So I actually had to put my hands on him and gently turn him around and nudge him toward the right direction. He's like, THANK YOU! <laughs> a couple of people did that, but some of them were so drunk that they, you know, literally, even when I did just kind of nudged them in the right direction. They just kind of staggered into the walls. So that was amusing. And uh, I've noticed that those little ten-year-olds aren't nearly as snobby as they are on the hayride, because you're right up in their face in the 3D maze and the castle and the house and everything. 
And they can't get away with that because you're right there and you can, you know, accidentally. Um, but I've noticed, you know, I noticed this last year too, but this really cinched it, that when they're on the tractor, they think that they can say whatever the hell they want because they're moving away from you and you can't jump on the tractor and wallop them for it. I would like to be able to do that just once. When that, that, that boy uh, tripped after shoving me, I actually got a little buzz out of that. And I can't do it again. But I'd like to. But I can't. So I won't. As far as I know. Oh, what else happened? It was cold. My gloves were still wet. Um, the leather gloves that I had, the black ones, they were still wet. So I had to go through the whole night with, with damp, clammy leather hands. But I worked, and I did it. And uh, I'm just not going to complain about anything anymore because nobody nobody takes it seriously. You know, there's always it's always like, you know, every time you go to somebody with a, com you know, like a complaint or a concern, it's, it's like you're annoying them or something. So I'm just not going to say anything. I'm, you know, if, if my knee gives out on the trail again really bad, I'm just... I'm just going to work through it, and then, you know, if I end up having to go to the hospital, then I end up going to the hospital, because I need the money, and nobody wants to hear about it, apparently, so, Blech. I'm going to start taking a lot more pictures, because next week is the last week of Witches Woods before Halloween, there's only three more days, and I'm starting to get sad already, so I'm going to be taking a lot of pictures for the slideshow, and then uh, there's going to be a staff party, everybody's going to be so tanked, and, uh, I learned the hard way last year. As soon as I get my stuff, I'm going to grab Cooper and we are out of there. I will let him have one drink. One. Because he is not puking in my car. No, no, no. If he pukes in my car, I will open up the door and shove him out into the freeway and then call police and let them pick him up. I'm done with getting puked on and beer spilled on me, and that is it. So as long as he brings his, his, his ID, he can have one drink. Um, I'm obviously not going to drink because A, I don't drink, and B, I'm driving. So, I'm, um, you're going to see all my old friends and everything. And then, uh, I still have a lot of, of blackmail pictures from last year when people were really, really drunk. And I will not post them, ever, because that's not fair to those people. And once you put something on the internet, it's there forever. So, I'll be looking back on this in 90 years saying, good God, I had all my hair back then. Um... That's about it. Uh, I got punched in the throat. Hung out with Cooper. Cooper's having a great time. This is good. Um, so he'll be coming back next year. That's about it. <laughs>